riders reach this point in going around on their particular ride, they'll uh, face an option here where they can either go left at this intersection of Garut Road and Shoreview or continue straight. If they go straight, they bypass the hill up over Garut and connect back on the trail at the location where they would be going if they go on up over the Garut Hill. Riders will have an option at that intersection of Garut Road and Shoreview to again go up over Shoreview, or I'm sorry, over Garut, uh, which has a grade of about six, seven, and a, a couple spots, eight uh, uh, percent, for about a three quarter of a mile distance. Or if they go down Shoreview, it's relatively flat all the way back to the trail. Both both uh, routes do end up at the same place on the trail, and the net difference is only about two tenths of a mile between the two choices. Um, the Garut Hill, uh, going down the other side, is really a blast. But it is, as you see, uh, no real shoulders, and it's uh, a winding, uh, basically two-lane road. Uh, but because of the grade and the curves, if uh, children are on the ride with their parents, unless they're really experienced cyclists, I would recommend that they go down Shoreview and uh, not try this because uh, it just isn't really conducive to a family-friendly ride up over the Garud Hill. All right, well, I'm going to go on up and have some fun going down the other side. Okay, we're headed down the other side of Garut Road Hill here. The wind noise will get too much to hear me. On that upper section, I get up to 37.8 miles per hour. Hi. And from here, we get back on Mosby Creek Road here and right back down, basically get back on the bike path or the trail uh, back into town. And we're about five miles from the finish line from here give or take a little bit. 